Solving multi-step equations. When we are solving multi-step equations, you want to follow these steps. The first thing you're going to do is the distributive property. So if you have parentheses in an equation, you want to make sure that you've removed the parentheses by taking the number on the outside of the parentheses and multiplying it to everything inside. If you have the distributive property, that's the first thing that you're going to do in an equation. The next step is to combine like terms. Like terms are on the same side of the equal sign. So when they're on the same side, you're simply going to add or subtract their coefficients. So in this case, I would have like terms 2x plus 7x, and I would combine it by getting 9x. Next, if you have variables on opposite sides of the equal sign, you're going to need to get them together in order to solve the equation. So whenever you move from one side of the equal sign to the other, you're going to have to do the opposite to get them together. So when you have variables on opposite sides of the equal sign, you're going to have to get it together first before you can do any other movement. Once you've done these three steps, it will come down to either a one-step or a two-step equation. So remember, a two-step equation, you're going to first undo the addition or subtraction, and then you're going to deal with what's attached, whether it's multiplication or division. So you're going to undo the multiplication or division last. So here's an example. It's a multi-step equation. I have multiple of the same variables. And I need to get it together before I can actually start moving. So this, the first thing I want to do here is combine like terms. And I know it's combined like terms because the variables are on the same side of the equal sign. So when they're on the same side, you're simply going to combine the like terms by taking their coefficients and doing the operation. So in this case, I have 2 minus 7 is going to give me a negative 5. So I end up with a negative 5x plus 3 equals 8. And now it's down to a two-step equation. When you have a two-step, you're going to get rid of the plus or minus first. So I'm going to end up taking that plus 3 and subtracting it from both sides of the equal sign. And then I'm left with a negative 5x equals 5. So now I'm going to get x by itself. I have something attached. That's multiplication. The inverse of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. And keep in mind, a positive divided by a negative, you end up with a negative 1. Pause and try. So be careful here. The variable's on the right-hand side, but they're both on the same side of the equal sign, so it's combined like terms. So I end up with a negative 3 minus 7 is going to give me a minus 10x. So everything else is just coming down. The 36 equals 6 minus 10x. Now it's a two-step equation. I don't want to deal with what's attached to the variable. I want to get rid of the 6 first by subtracting 6 from both sides. I end up with 30 equals a negative 10x. And now you're dealing with what's attached to the variable. That negative 10, I divide both sides by negative. So my solution here is going to be a negative 3. So now let's do a multi-step equation. And now you see parentheses, which means I have the distributive property. So you're going to distribute that 3 to everything inside. To do that, you're going to multiply. So I end up having 3 times 2x is going to be 6x. 3 times a minus 6 is a minus 18. And then I'm just bringing down the equals negative 6. Now it's a two-step equation. So I'm going to get rid of the minus 18 by adding 18 to both sides. And then I'm going to end up with 6x equals 12. And now I'm going to divide through by 6. And I'm going to get my answer, x equals 2. So this next example, I want you to be careful whenever you have the distributive property and you have a negative attached to the parentheses. So we have a negative 2 that needs to be distributed here. And whenever you multiply by a negative, signs change. So I do the negative 2. Negative 2 times a positive 3 is going to give me negative 6. And then a negative 2 times a minus x will change that to plus 2x equals 4. 
And now you have the two-step equation. You're going to deal with that negative 6 first by adding it to both sides. And then you're going to end up with 2x equals 10. And now you're going to get rid of the 2. The inverse would be division. Divide both sides by 2. And you get x equals 5. Pause and try. So in this case, you're going to distribute that negative 5. You end up with a negative 15x plus 5. And now you have a two-step equation. You want to subtract 5 from both sides. You're going to end up with 30 equals a negative 15x. And then you're going to divide through by that negative 15. And you get x equals a negative 2. This next example, notice here I have the distributive property. And I have multiple of the same variable. Well. You always want to make sure that you remove the parentheses first. You cannot combine like terms until you've completed the distributive property. So I'm going to distribute here. And that 4 is going to go to everything inside the parentheses. So I end up with 4 times x is 4x. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. And then I'm bringing down the plus 2x equals 40. Always double check that you distribute properly, especially in a multi-step equation. Because if you forget to multiply that 4 to that 2, you're going to end up with an incorrect answer. Now that you've done the distributive property, you have multiple of the same variable, you need to combine the like terms. So I'm going to combine here that 4x and that plus 2x. They're on the same side of the equal sign. Because they're on the same side, you're simply just adding or subtracting their coefficients. So we end up with 6x minus 8 equals 40. And now we have a two-step equation. You're going to get rid of that minus 8 by adding 8 to both sides. And then you're going to end up with 6x equals 48. And then you're going to divide through by 6. And you get your solution. So x equals 8 here. Pause and try. You're doing the distributive property first. Always double check that you multiplied all the way through. Then you're going to combine like terms here. 5x minus 3x is 2x. Now you have that two-step equation. You're going to add 5 to both sides. You're going to be left with 2x equals 2. And then you divide through by 2. And you get x equals 1. Now notice this next example here. We have, we have multiple variables, but the variables are on opposite sides of the equal sign. Notice here, this is the equal sign, and the variables are on opposite sides. So you can't just simply combine like terms here. In order to get the variables together, you have to move. So whenever you move from one side of the equal sign to the other, you have to do opposites. So I like to move to the left because when we solve inequalities, it's easier to understand what the solution is when the variable is to the left. So I do what I would do with inequalities with equations. So here we have the negative 3x, and I want to move that over to the 2x. Uh, because it's minus 3x, I have to add it. You have to do the opposite when you move from one side of the equal sign to the other. So I'm adding it to the 2x, and I end up with 5x minus 2 equals 3. And now I have a two-step equation. I'm going to add that 2 to both sides. And I'm going to be left with 5x equals 5. And then I'm going to divide through by 5. And I get my solution x equals 1. Pause and try. So it doesn't matter which side you choose to move the variable to. I chose to move the 6x over. And because it's minus 6x, I have to add 6x to both sides. Make sure you add it to the other variable. Then you're left with 11 plus 4x equals 7. Then you're going to subtract 11 from both sides. And you're going to be left with 4x equals a negative 4. Divide through by 4, and you get x equals a negative 1. This next one, we have the distributive property. But notice, we also have a variable on both sides of the equal sign. So the first thing you have to do is the distributive property. 
So here I'm going to distribute that 2, and I'm going to end up with 24 minus 4x, and it's going to equal 8x. So in this case, we have variables on opposite sides of the equal sign, but the variable on the right-hand side is already by itself. So I want to move to that side. So I'm going to take that minus 4x, and I'm going to move it to the 8x. And because I'm moving, I have to do the opposite. Because it's minus, I have to add 4x to both sides. And I'm left with 24 equals 12x. Now I'm going to divide through by 12, and I'm going to get my solution, x equals 2. Pause and try. You do the distributive property here. You get 6x minus 9 equals 9x. You want to move that 6x over to the 9x. You have to do the opposite, which is subtract, and you're left with a negative 9 equals 3x. You're going to have to divide through by 3 here, and you get x equals a negative 3. Pause and try. So you're going to do the distributive property here. You get 14 minus 7x equals that 26 minus 3x. In this case, it doesn't matter which direction you choose to move in to get the variables together. I chose to move the 3x over to the 7x. I, um, I end up with 14 minus 4x equals 26. Then I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides. I'm going to be left with the negative 4x equals 12. And then you divide through by a negative 4, and you get your solution x equals a negative 3.